What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Since this month, I am doing my reviews for uh, films that got released in January. Here is my review for a January classic. And that is the 1996 comedy film Biodome. Alright, now here's the thing Biodome got pan. I mean, it got 4% of Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it scored loads of Razzies. Uh, I believe it won some. Uh, yeah, Paula Schultz captured the Razzie Awards uh, for worst male lead. Alright, I'm going to say this right now. It's not that good of a film. But I always dug Biodome. I don't know why. Something about Biodome. I just... Like, Paula Shaw has done some odd, uh, like... Some comedy films, uh, you know, back in the days. You know, uh... Uh, you know, I, I've always liked Paul Shaw. You know, he of course did uh, was in Son in Law, Casino Man, uh, in the Army. Now he just had the new movie called Guest House, which I still haven't seen. I, it's on Netflix. I gotta check that one out. But my favorite film of his, they did that year, is a bit by them. It's more of a guilty pleasure of mine. It's, I I used to always get kicked out of this film. You know, uh. It was directed by uh, Jason uh, Bloom, who I don't really remember if he did anything else after. But in it, it starred Polly Shaw as Bud and uh, Stephen Baldwin as Doyle, who ends up getting dumped by their uh, girlfriends, Monique, who's played by Joey Lauren Alves, and Jen, played by Teresa Hills, in the middle of the desert. And so, like, you know, needing a um, uh, bathroom, the two friends uh, enter what they think is um, a mall, but soon realizes in a uh, high profile. Secure um experiment as they engage in this uh you know year long bout with uh Doctor uh, Faulkner portrayed by William uh, Addison and other scientists and so you know Bud and Dora ends up uh trying to confront their uh own uh behavior in this and it of course takes place within the confines of the biodome uh and. I don't know why. I used to get kicked out of this film. I mean, uh, it had, like, some interesting, uh, you know, cast list. You had, uh, Tenacious D duo, uh, Jack Black and Kyle Gass. Uh, you had Kali, uh, McNaugh was in this. Uh, I mean, Paula Shaw and, uh, Steve Barton also were both, they had some pretty good chemistry with one another. I mean, I, I thought they were both pretty good, uh, with each other. I mean, they... Oh, you also had Rose McGowan was also in this. I forget if Rose McGowan was in this film. I mean, it's a bit... It's a bit of a mess. You know, it's not that great of a film at all. But, I don't know, something about this film, I used to always watch it, uh, you know, back in the days. I used to always... I used to get a kick out of it, um, but now I grew up and I'm like, okay, it's maybe not that great, great of a film. But it is more of a guilty pleasure of mine. It's kind of a film I could probably watch. Like, it's one of those bad films where I could watch almost any time and never get bored of it. I mean, this is pretty much one of my favorite bad films to ever get released uh, in years. There are, like, it's dumb, but it's... You know, uh... It's fun dumb, you know? And I, I always uh, was a little disappointed that Paula Shaw and Steve Baldwin never did another film together. Because I don't... You know, hate the movie or not, those two had some good chemistry with one another. I thought they really play off each other well. Steve Baldwin shows that he could do comedy pretty well. We've seen that with Flintstone v. Rock Vegas. Uh, and Steve Baldwin... I, what ever happened to Steve Baldwin? He doesn't do... Like, I feel like Al Baldwin does more stuff than his brothers, really. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, of course, you know, after several months of the film, uh, passed, you know, um, Earth Day, of course, approaches, and so, like, and so, throughout the, uh, film, Dud, um, Dora and the team, uh, are, you know, successful in, uh, restoring the, uh, dome here, and so it's pretty much, uh, like a, it's like an anti-Dumb and Dumber, I mean, I believe this movie got released about two years after Dumb and Dumber got released, and... Yeah, like I said, it's not that great of a film, but if you want a bad film to watch, definitely this is one. I mean, I'm not even gonna joke. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even wouldn't mind seeing a sequel. 
you know, this is, it's more of a guilty pleasure of mine. And of course, the film, uh, when it got released, it uh, made only $13.4 million. It completely flopped when it got released. But, uh, yeah, um, and it likes it had a 4% Rotten Tomatoes. Ew, boy, lots of people hate this movie. I mean, I don't hate it. I just think it's more of a guilty pleasure. Um, of mine. But, uh, anyway, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen Biodome? If so, what's your story? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? And, bonus question. Would you be down to see a sequel? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.